We're actually quite good now and I cannot believe it. Since you last saw us beat Real Sociedad 3-1 and Verona 4-0, we beat Union Berlin 4-0 away from home before pumping Empoli 8-0 and coming back down to earth the 0-0 draw. A clean sheet though, away to Bologna, not all bad. Today we face Sivaspor and Fiorentina both at the Stadio Olimpico, both big games. If we win the league game then that's against third place, we should be able to shoot above them and if we win the Europa League game then we're in a very good position after just three games having taken maximum points. So it's probably going to go wrong. You're goddamn right. But first of all, if I could thank you all very much for tuning in to the CD so far. You seem to be enjoying it and I am loving making it. So if you do enjoy it and you don't already, please do leave a like on the video to let me know. Otherwise, how else am I meant to know that you're actually liking the content? Subscribe if you've not done so already because there's plenty more FN23 content to come already. And if you know a friend who likes Football Manager, enjoys some YouTube content and they're not on board, then let them know as well. Thank you very, very much and let's get stuck into things. What was that? We're rotating against Sivaspor because they're not very good. However, the team we are putting out is still a very, very competent one. With Patricio in goals, that's fine. Cars drop and spin at Zola, the fullbacks, that's pretty standard. However, Kambula is coming in at centre back and he is very very capable to be fair not so good at playing football however passing stats not too bad but at 17 heading 16 marking 15 tackling 14 positioning should be enough to get by alongside Mike Smalling Nemanja Matic is playing just in front of them who by the way did this against Empoli, absolutely unbelievable and definitely unrealistic. He plays alongside captain Lorenzo Pellegrini who are behind Dybala, El Shirawi and the fit again Nicolo Zaniolo and Andrea Bellotti leading the line in this game. Hasn't started too many games but we've got plenty of options from the bench should we need it. Eden Hazard still fit but he did pick up a little knock just a few days ago. He's alright now though, it's going almost too well for now. And as you can see, Siva Spohr, well a few notable names, mainly Ahmed Musa and Max Grazel, however not a lot of players because I've not got the Turkish lead league loaded, so maybe an unfair advantage to us but there we are. Oh I forgot, oh I can't do the sounds, oh no what's going on, oh. We'll have the Europa League option and Am Anthem, ah that's not a word. In the next episode, sorry. I hope you enjoyed that. That is, of course, presuming that the Europa League anthem is in this as well as the Champions League. Um, what's Rui Patricio up to? I don't know. However, thankfully, we didn't go 1 0 down inside five minutes after I've just basically called them absolutely rubbish. And now we have a free kick of our own. Paolo Dybala up to take it. Up against the Turkish goalkeeper and he's hit the bar. That would have been a fantastic start. No Tammy Abraham today which means we didn't go in front inside two minutes. But we've started... Uh, okay. We have a corner though. Lorenzo Pellegrini. We've been very good from these. Oh, Mike Smalling should have scored. I'm going to take Get Sucking off nice and early. It's already off and Mike Smalling's got a book so... A book? He's just reading in the middle of the park. That's how bad this lot are as the ball is clear. So maybe they're not that bad after all. <sighs> Although Mike Smalley has just taken an absolute age on the ball there. Um, nobody going near him and still the highlight goes on rather surprisingly. Yeah, being in Kumbula just passing it with Mike Smalling, taking it nice and easy as we progress backwards on the field. Pellegrini looking for El Sharawi though, he's got men waiting in the middle, Belotti must be hungry, Dabala should have scored. But he has another chance here, a free kick from a similar area as before, this time he's getting further away, that one over the bar instead of hitting it, so... Feel sorry for those in the top deck in the net after the next one, fuck that one up. This isn't quite going as well as I'd like, especially since 
Sociedad are clearly winning this game. However, uh, we've won the ball in the middle of the park and maybe we will go in ahead at half time. El Shirah, we didn't left inside. Only a minute at it on. And Belotti waiting in the middle. Headed clearly by a name I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. Spinazzola hit it. Oh, gorgeous. Leonardo on his right foot. You saw the bend there. That is where I think the match engine improves. The amount of whip that was on in effort in 2022 was sometimes very realistic. But that looked pretty darn Good. Max Gradle did not get onto it. Nemanja Matic headed it down to Pellegrini. And God, Spinazzola picked his spot, finding that top corner. Postage stamp. And we will go in ahead at half time. 1 0. And after we've made some changes, I'm quite happy with that. And you know what? I'll tell them it. We're going to keep things the way they are for now. And maybe in 10, 15, 20 minutes or so, we'll make even more. Graziano Pella isn't registered. Oh, that is upsetting. Dogan Chan with the goal kick though. Going long and Belotti cutting it out. That was an absolutely terrible free kick. Belotti, Debala, somebody over the bar again. Bloody carnage this. But now, with 20 minutes having been played in the second half, we'll make some changes. We'll freshen things up. Players who perhaps aren't getting so much game time. We're going to put on Matthias Vina. Uh, we're 1-0 up. He's actually quite good, just hasn't played too much. And I'll tell you what, Zaniolo not playing particularly well. Still trying to get up to match sharpness. Don't want to overexert him too much. So Iose Perez coming on on that right hand side. Two still decent players. Probably unlucky not to be featuring so much for us. And we'll see how that goes. Matic out to Spinazzola. The changes are afoot. However, we have our chance of our Belotti. Oh, deflected over the bar. And we'll see the changes ahead of this corner. Maybe we'll see the corner. No, we won't. We'll see another one, though. Absolute carnage, as we just saw confirmation of those changes. Dybala, ball in, looking for Matic. Didn't get there this time. Kumbula, and then El Sharawi from Rage. And that is superb. That is definitely a bug in the beta. However, a beautiful goal. Two fantastic goals, it has to be said, from two Italian internationals. And let's enjoy that one again. Dybala's corner in was headed clear. Matic didn't quite get there. Kumbula nodding it down to Pellegrini, who first time knocked it back. And Sharawi hit it from range. And not quite a top corner as that Spinazzola one, but still bloody gorgeous. We'll make another change and we're 2 0 up. We're comfortable now. Let's get Eddie Bover on the park in that midfield role. Well, defensive midfield role. Segunda. Segunda. Segundo Volante, that was difficult as we've gone over once again. Belotti has disappointed me uh, in this game. We'd like to see him grab a goal. Maybe we've not created too many chances for him. Their centre back's having a shocker. And now we'll make our final changes of the game. Madi Kamara coming on in the middle of the park for Nemanja Matic. He's pretty tired, played okay. However, and we're also going to take off Dybala for Yassine Adley. Get him on, get him sometimes. So AC Milan stay happy and Dybala stays rested. He's also a pretty good player. But not long to go now. We'll fire them some praise before full time. 2-0 victors after so many changes. Making a perfect start to our Europa League campaign. I am very, very happy with that. And that puts us in a good position having rested some players <laughs> to face third place. If you want to see that in the next game, we're currently three points clear at the top. We've got Siva Sport to play next, who still haven't won a game. If we win that, we are probably going to be as good as through. So, we'll absolutely take that. Fantastic start. And given the fact we got smashed, you know, by Lazio and I was scared of this group, I didn't expect it. We'll give the boys some rest after that game with just a few days before we face Fiorentina. As I said, who currently sit third in this Serie A. And if we win, we will go above them. And hopefully maybe Lazio too. We've got a game in hand over a few of the teams above us. Sitting fifth right now, not too bad. Inter, Juventus, Torino and Milan all below us, which is quite a surprise. And here we are, the team to face Fiorentina at the Stadio Olimpico. Patricio in goals, of course. Ibanez and Mancini back in at centre back with the full backs staying the same. The partnership in the centre midfield is the same too with Cristante. I intended on playing him, however, he's got blisters, which is apparently enough to make you stop playing. Pathetic! Dybala, Zaniolo, and Hazard comes in on the left hand side with Tammy Abraham starting up top, leading the line to 15 substitutes. Far too many and gives me a bit of a headache when I'm trying to make substitutions. But we're ready and raring to go. It's Burgundy versus Purple. I don't know why that was relevant. 
But nevertheless, here is the Fiorentina side. It's a very decent one. Pierluigi Gallini in goals. I think, was that uh, Tottenham? I believe Robin Koch as well was in the Premier League for a while. Alfred Duncan, Bonaventura, Jonathan Ikone, and the main man, Luka Jovic, with a decent bench as well. Jacob Brun Larson, probably most notably, is one of them. They're not bad. They're not bad at all. And they currently are above us in the table, sitting in third the last time I checked. So, it's important that we get a result here in front of our home fans as well. I don't know how it's going to go. They are... Oh, they're second. Brilliant. But we have a corner. Paulo Dybala, early chance. Matic off the bar. And they put it off their own bar as well. It's somehow out for another corner. Are we going to see it? Dybala, again. Let's stop hitting the bar so much, guys. That would be absolutely fantastic. Dybala, ball in again. Matic didn't get anywhere near it. And in fact, Jovic on the break. Fourth... Uh, no. Back. It's going to be the end of the highlight. Thank you very much, football manager. But here we go again. Aiden Hazard down that right-hand side. He's got men waiting in the middle. Couldn't pick out Matic on the edge of the box. And they will look to counter-attack. Oh, no. Gianluca Mancini did not get there. And Ikone is, well, spearing down on goal. And thankfully, slid it just wide. Because we were not getting anywhere near him whatsoever. Fiorentina with a corner, though. Bonaventura in. And Robin Koch heading over. They're getting into it a little bit more. And I do not like it one bit. <laughs> oh no, another corner, Bjorn Ventura, they've not made the last one pay, and are we going to look to counter-attack, Zaniolo was looking to get there, however it's now back with Bjorn Ventura, the captain for Fiorentina, ball back in, out, Duncan from range, and how's that gone in, God above, that is horrendous goalkeeping from Rui Patricio, it's gone through him, I think it took deflection on the way there, so perhaps the defender should have done better too, but goodness me, that was absolutely awful, Milinkovic on the edge of the area, Blocked, oh, deflected, it was going well wide, came off Pellegrini, which I think threw off Patricio, who still should have done better given he got a hand to it, and we find ourselves 1-0 down. Fuck off. I see if demanding some more does anything. With half an hour gone, we might have to tweak things tactically, because right now, they're very much on top. Uh, what we will do, I don't know. However, I think stop focusing the ball through the middle and play a little bit wider, perhaps a little bit more direct, and get at them, because now they've got something to hold on to. We need to be more aggressive in our play. Will that make a difference? I have absolutely no idea. I highly doubt it. We've been dominating the ball, but they've got a better XG, albeit just. And it's half time, and we are 1-0 down, and I'm not happy about it. I'm going to have to have a think about what to do. They've responded well, at least on the team talk. I'm just popping the fullbacks onto wing back attack duties with support duties for Zaniolo and Hazard to hopefully get them a little bit more involved in the build up play with Dybala on our attack duty to get him in and around Tammy Abraham a little bit more. We've not seen nearly enough of that probably this season as of yet. I think that's maybe down to the support role a little bit. Back underway in the second half though with no change in personnel and I'm not sure how much that's going to affect things. I'm going to bump it up to extended highlights so I can just see it a little bit more. But Fiorentina with a corner again. Thankfully headed clear by Matic. Zaniolo did not get there. Milinkovic, I thought he was going to hit it from range. Did not. Back out to Bonaventura. We've nicked in and are we going to hit them on the counter-attack? Spinazzola, find a man. I don't put it long for no reason when you had options. But Tam Abraham in there before Barak. Obama. Uh, Zaniolo looking for Eden Hazard. Men in the middle once again. Dybala joining the attack and hits it and goal! Perfect. Glad we had him on the attack. G. If he was on support, G, he slightly maybe would have been a little bit deeper. Maybe a bit more on the edge of the area waiting for the cutback. But he was in there ready to attack in support of Tammy Abraham and I am a tactical genius. If I was a tactical genius, I'd have done that before. There we go. Perfect. Slots at home and gets on the goal sheet. Score sheet. I don't know. I was too confused by this. Oh, God. They have the ball again. Golini looking to build it up from the back and he goes long. Forced long, I must say. And, of course, they keep a hold of the ball. Pellegrini, put your foot in. Nobody wanting to put their foot in. Thankfully, Gianluca Mancini, as we look to counter-attack. Nobody really in support of Zaniolo. And he plays a terrible pass. However, Eden Hazard does get on the end of it. Loses it. There's a lot more quick switches in possession in this football manager. And we've been punished there. I think that goal's going to count from Luka Jovic. We've been pegged back immediately once again. But hopefully, we can be able to do a favour by VAR. We are! Okay, 1-1 it stays. I didn't think that was going to be the case at all. 
In fact, um, they arguably deserve that. He will just marginally offside, and I don't think he needed to be at all. Still a good finish, though. Gonna make the passing slightly shorter, with the tempo slightly higher. And I don't know whether... Uh, Counter-press a little bit more when we lose the ball. We are at home, after all. Push them up a little bit higher, and I tell you what, we're going for it. We need to increase the intensity. We need to get at them. And I'm close to putting on Andrea Bellotti up alongside Tammy Abraham. I'm not going to do that as of yet in fact i'm not sure what i'm going to change zaniolo once again not performing well out there and you know what el shirawi came on had a bit of an impact against siva sport in fact scored so he goes on on a winger duty hopefully we can provide a little bit more for tammy abraham in the middle of the park one by mancini alfred duncan the goal scorer for fiorentina looking for sorty cut out nobody dropping in and Luka Jovic has freezer bird in there and I don't know how he's not scored. Absolutely awful defending. We have the goal kick though and we'll look to play it out from the back. Cars drop. Going forward into El Shirawi. He's got time. He's got players in the middle. Finds Spinazzola with a fantastic crossfield ball there. And look, let's see what we can do here. We are a decent football side. Dybala out to Spinazzola. He looks to get into the box again. On the edge there is Pellegrini though. Fantastic block from Koch though. Putting it just over the bar. You could call it a cock block. Bear doom. Shh. <laughs> this is great banter. Lorenzo Pellegrini corner. Let's see if we can make something happen. In towards Matic at the back post. Doesn't get there. And it goes out for a throw in. Absolutely delighted with that cock block joke. We're switching things onto an attacking mentality. And also to a diamond. Zeki Celic coming on at right back. Hopefully providing a little bit more energy down that flank with El Shirawi. Matic protecting the back four with Hazard out left. Pellegrini pushed forward in support of Belotti who's replacing Abraham and Dybala as that advance forward. Hopefully going to be able to use... <sighs> hmm. Why is he not fast? Agility. Use the agility and balance because you don't have any pace. 15 minutes to go though. I'll fire them some encouragement as we see uh, Fiorentina corner and they've been quite dangerous from set pieces. The ball goes in. Thankfully, they didn't make anything of that, but the ball, God. Well, boy, did they make something of that, despite what I just said about 10 seconds ago. Christian Kuami battering it in off the bar, and we are behind at the Olympico. I mean, we dealt with the corner okay, but it was first time back in Rabonaventura, whacked it in, and Kwame did exactly the same in off the bar. Ah, well, that change in formation and personnel has gone really well. Jose Perez is going to come on for Luca Pellegrini. Lorenzo Pellegrini, apologies, because he's not been very good whatsoever with El Shirawi going in behind the striker. We're also going to take off Spinazzola on a yellow card, not performing well. We've got Sergio Gomez, very good technically, out wide. Hopefully, that will be able to help some stuff, but I am not confident whatsoever. And in fact, even on extended highlights, not seeing anything at all. And I don't know... Why? Because we're dominating the ball and um, not creating anything with it. Perhaps the tempo's too high. Do I maybe need to tell them to, you know, not rush things uh, quite so much? We should be being aggressive. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we'll take things off a little bit. Maybe try and force them out a little bit more towards the end of this game. And in fact, we do see now highlight, but just because we are making tactical changes. Roger Ibanez, though, on the ball. Going for Iose Perez, who has time on that right-hand side. Uh, no support from the wing-back on attack, but we do win a corner. And in fact, we will see it. Paolo Dybala over it. Surely plenty of men waiting at... What the fuck was that? Absolutely awful. And I tell you what, the performance overall, pretty poor. And we're in to the final minute of added time. And there goes the final whistle. Ah, we're good at the Europa League. However, the last two league results only picking up one point away at Bologna and at home against Fiorentina. Not good whatsoever. I've told them I'm embarrassed and they've responded well. Hopefully they'll respond well against Sivaspor and subsequently Udinese in the next two games because we need to pick up points in the league. 13 points after eight games is not good whatsoever. What is he doing here? What are you doing here? And not in a racist way. And possibly of Cogley, Wolves. What's that? I'm confused. We will play the Siva Spore 
Udinese Cremonese games off camera before coming back in the next episode with two big games Union Berlin which hopefully if we win we'll seal top of the group providing we get a good result against Sivaspor and Inter Milan who are now back up to third meaning that game against Europa League opponents Real Sociedad won't matter in theory so we won't show that one and in an episode following we will play Juventus in a single game episode before the World Cup break so if you've enjoyed this episode and you're excited for that please do leave a like on the video comment down below with any tips on how to maybe improve my league form I need it share a video with the friends because if they enjoy Football Manager and they enjoy YouTube as well maybe they'll enjoy this there's only one way to find out and subscribe if you are new around here and you've not done so already plenty of FL23 content to come thank you very much for tuning in and take care I need a lie down